Hello, today I'll be teaching you how to set up a dedicated server for CSGO. Um, this works for LAN servers or community servers. Very easy to install, very easy to set up. Sort of. The, the, the first part, just installing it. You gotta exit out of Steam. Uh, you gotta go enter this ULR. This is uh, a special command only version of Steam called Steam CMD. It is commonly used to set up servers and download game files for servers, and yeah, it's just basically like a developer version of Steam, kind of, I guess. You just gotta launch that, extract that, and then launch the file in the folder, and then it should update, give it a minute or two, run it, yeah, so it gets updating. Just give it time to update, it should be quite quick. Okay, here's what it looks like when it's done updating. Pretty simple. Okay, now you're gonna need to enter some commands. I'll have the commands in the description, but I'll put them on the screen as well. First command you're gonna wanna enter is, uh, you wanna log in, so type, um, login anonymous. Okay, once you log in anonymously, it should say okay and whatever okay when it's done it should give you a fresh command line now we're going to actually install the csgo files okay type this command type force underscore install underscore dir space csgo server this is just going to make a folder in your steam cmd folder uh, where it's going to install the actual CSGO files. Now you're going to want to install the actual CSGO app uh, and by typing this app underscore update space 740 space validate you know 740 is pretty much a special code for CSGO like that Steam uses so it's installing CSGO. Uh, depending how fast your internet is it should take uh, like at least 40 minutes to an hour aver on average so when it's 100%, uh, just come back. I'll be back. Okay, here's the actual CSGO server folder. As you can see, the files are installed, the CSGO files. Now it's time to actually set up the server a little bit. You want to right click this little CSGO icon. You got to create a shortcut. Now you got to right click that shortcut and go to properties. And to set up a basic uh, competitive 5v5 server, you're gonna wanna put a space here, and then I'll type you the, uh, you gotta copy and paste the commands or type them out. These are the commands for just a basic 5v5 server. Put that in the target section on the shortcut properties. And you should be all ready to go pretty much. Uh, to launch the server, you wanna double click the shortcut it's gonna launch it in a command line, you, a command steam cmd sort of looking thing. You want to allow all that stuff, and the server will probably be on LAN only. So if you want to connect to it, you have to start your Steam. And a pro tip: you can't start up the server when you're logged into Steam, so you have to exit your Steam every time you want to start up the server. But my, in my next video, I'll be teaching how to port forward. So people would actually connect to your server on the community server browser. But I'll just connect to it via LAN right now. See, look, uh, I'll go to the LAN tab, and it should be there. Mine looks a bit different. Mine has tags and stuff and a title. I'll teach you how to set that up too, but not in this tutorial. It should just say CSGO server if it's your first time logging onto it. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it.